we uh, will get started with exercises in the course and um, there are some tools and some dependencies and stuff to, to sort out. So we will uh, demo this for you so you can code along uh, with the exercises. So we will start with the Rotten Tomatoes exercise. Um, and we start in this view with um, my uh, student accounts and, and the assignments in the course and the exercise repository. So first of all, we need to clone the exercise repository so that we can store the applications in, in, in this uh, exercise repository. So I click that one and we do a clone and I copy the SSH uh, address for this, this exercise. Uh, remember that you need to add your SSH keys to, uh, to GitLab to be able to push and pull. Uh, and you do that up, if you have a, like an orange bar in the top, you need to make sure that you follow the steps described in that one uh, before you can clone with its SSH. So copy that one. Uh, I will go into the terminal. I have my 1DVX23 uh, folder and in this one I want to create my exercise folder so I do a bit clone. Uh, oh, what? Ah, I restarted my computer. That's why. Uh, it says warning, I have cloned an empty repository. Uh, but that's fine, because it should be empty. We go into the exercises folder, uh, and it's of course is empty. So, uh, when we start with exercises in this course, it's important that you create folders for each and every exercise, because we will have uh, quite a few of the exercises. And the first one, uh, it is called Rotten Tomatoes. Uh, so, in this case, I will not copy that, I will just call it Rotten Tomatoes. So, I create a directory called Rotten Tomatoes. Tomatoes, tomatoes, tomatoes. Uh, like that. Uh, and in this folder, we will start our project. What is the first thing we do when we create a node project? What's the first thing? Well, we need to create a package JSON. Yeah. And we need to run npn in it. Yeah. And we got two options, I think. Well, but we start with the with, with the default one. Yeah. Uh, yeah. yeah. So to create the package uh, JSON and get all the dependencies set up, we do an npn in it. Uh, this will uh, give us. Uh, a lot of questions. Yeah, a lot of so. questions. Uh, the package name, Rotten Tomato, is fine. Uh, version, well, 1.0 is fine. This is, I mean, those questions are quite important if you are supposed to publish your repository to mm -hmm. npm. In in our case, with with uh, with exercises, we will not. So so we can just skip through. We could write a description, of course. This is the da da da. I will actually do that because otherwise, I think I will get warnings when I, I do so, an too. npm install. So I will just say. Uh, rotten tomatoes. Uh, an entry point in our case, I always do an app.js, so I will start with app.js in this case. Uh, a test command, I don't have any. Uh, I will not do any testing in this one. Uh, a git repository, of course, you could like copy the URL uh, that we have, so I will just do that, just to have something, because I think it's the same thing. If this one is empty, you will get warnings, a lot of warnings all the time. Uh, keywords, doesn't matter in this case. Well, I could have my my name, of course, as author. You, MIT. Al you always go with MIT, so I follow that lead. And then we get a confirmation. Uh, is this correct? Yes, it is, and we are finished. Uh, if we look uh, uh, in the folder, we get a package JSON, and we can open everything up in Visual Studio Code. Uh, let's have a look at that one later. Yeah. Well, quite a simple one. Uh, of course, you can edit things uh, now if, uh, in this um, setting if you like. Um, where did my terminal go? There it is. So, if we... Uh, I will do it like this. I copy that one. <coughs> Actually, and we do a... Um, Remove the file, so now it's empty again. Because the only thing that MPN in it did was to create the package JSON file. Yeah. 
Uh, and now I do it all over again, npm init minus uh, y. Uh, this will uh, make it so that it will just default everything in this file. Uh, done. Uh, if we go into the file right now, it's quite empty. Well, it takes the, the folder name and 1.0, index.js, yep. ICS for license, yep. no author. Um, but, but that can be fixed, but we don't. No. But in my case, since I copied, yeah. I, I do that. So, so oh. that it's kind of correct, at least. Well, you can configure your, your uh, development. Yeah. Environment to generate exact yep. um, the package JSON you you want yep. when you run npm init y. But uh, okay, that's, yeah, okay. but that's yep. another story. Yep, yep. Uh, let's do that. Uh, so next step is I mean we have the entry point in app.js. Okay. I will just create a simple app.js right now. Or should we do another thing first? Should we start with always starting with the uh, git ignore? I think so. Yeah, <laughs> okay. So we start with the git, the git ignore. So I would create the git ignore, git ignore, uh, uh, and we should fill with this with something. You can do this in a numerous ways. We have like a shorthand mm. uh, on how to, to make it from the CLI. Yeah. Uh, I'm not sure, is it git in it, right? Yeah. Uh, or what do what do you mean? Oh, no, not get in it. No. Sorry. Oh, I'm so. Well, this is exciting. I created. An, uh, <laughs> that, that's a bad. That's thing to do. bad. Uh, oh my god. Well. Oh well, doesn't matter for this. Don't do get in it inside of a, a, a Git repository because it will be a mess, and I just made a mess. Uh, yeah. uh, maybe at Don't least. Don't Dot git. Fillers. Uh, no. Uh, mm -hmm. Wonder actually if I did. Well, git ignore. It's uh, what is the shorthand that we have used? Is it git ig git? Oh well, git oh, ign ignore. I think. Yeah, like that, right? And I don't think I have that ignore okay. command uh, specified. So no. in in my case, just to show it, you can always go to git ignore.io. Uh, in this one, you can write, we are in Node, I'm on Ubuntu, maybe it's Linux actually, oh, Node, uh, you, uh, uh, Linux, uh, we shall... VS Code, no, no, no. no. we just did the code, yep. and that's about it, I think. Uh, yep, we create that one, copy and paste it into uh, oh, like that into the ignore file and the most important part in this file is it is node modules yeah. that is probably some here somewhere uh, that one because we will we do not want our dependencies to be be uh, uh, version controlled on, on git so 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 do this it's actually a good thing do this the first thing mm. after you create the package json maybe mm. even before you create the package json mm. you can well, do it the first either yeah uh, now i can uh, do a uh, an app.js file and we can uh, do just a console.log hello world just to, to make world to make sure that that one is uh, is correct uh, yeah we will get into the eslint problems uh, or we will configure that uh, actually quite right now mm -hmm. um, so Okay. Uh, it complained about uh, uh, the linting uh, in this case, so uh, we need to configure linting for each and every exercise and every uh, assignment in the course, and this is important because our build systems will use ESLint to, to make sure that you are following the correct uh, semantics and syntax, uh, and uh, if you are not, you will basically fail the assignments. So please make sure to do this step. Uh, to do that, we start off by doing a npm install eslint because eslint is the uh, lint that we are using. So npm install uh, eslint. And uh, in this case, 
uh, we want that. Uh, no, okay. Let's let's. I I'll do it like this. Nope. Uh, okay. Yeah. yeah. Mm. I'll, 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 <laughs> there is a point I want to make. So if we look now, I installed ESLint, and now we got the dependency ESLint. However, ESLint is a typical dev dependency. It's not a dependency. It's not not something that we will use in production. So I want this to be a dev dependency instead. Uh, I can do an npm uninstall eslint just to show that we have an uninstall as well. Mm -hmm. If you have installed a package, it was the wrong package, you can do an uninstall. It will be removed from uh, from the um, the package JSON. And now I do, do an npm install eslint oh. save. Quite hard for them to see that. Oh, it is. Um, clear. Now npm install eslint minus minus save dash dev. That. Uh, now instead of being in the dependencies, uh, uh, it will go into the dev dependency. And this is a dev dependency, so that is correct. So eslint is just a linter, and you can configure this linter down to every little detail in how to write your code. And we have done that. But we have done that in a global settings file that you need to install. Uh, so we need to configure ESLint. And the instructions probably is like everywhere. But uh, if, if you don't know where to find them, you can always search for at lnu dot da, uh, slash eslint config at npm dot js npm js dot org and you will find this package and inside of this package you will find instructions but you should be able to just do and i will try this now i haven't tried it before <coughs> actually well, uh, you tried it yeah. it doesn't work mm -hmm. you try i'll try it mm -hmm. npm i at lnu uh, da, slash eslint dot config and, and we are using this organization uh, feature in npm. It's not that commonly used yet, but we thought it was quite a nice way of, of for you to know that this is an LNU specific uh, configuration. Mm -hmm. uh, it's not, not not something that is kind of publicly available, even if it is. We have a lot of downloads. We have 236 <laughs> wow. weekly downloads. <laughs> and this is this will rise quite fast. And you shouldn't always trust this number because this is how many times this has been downloaded. And if we use this in a build system where every push generated by a student triggers the build system to do an MPN install mm -hmm. with this configuration, each every push that all the students do will generate the one download. So this one will probably explode. It will be the most popular <laughs> config in the world. No, it will not. Airbnb is probably uh, more popular. So I copy that one. Uh, and I go into this one. And we do an, whoa. Uh, um, I'll do this install. What was it? It was lnu yes. slash eslint config. Yeah. Yeah. So npm install or i. I'm just always writing install. Let's write. <laughs> so. Same result as i. Yeah. Uh, now it says you must install a peer dependency, peer dependency, peer dependency, because this configuration file depends on a lot of other dependencies. Uh, I thought I'd fix that, but uh, well, this is probably the correct way. So that's why if you read in this one, we have another command, an npx install peer depths, and this will install all those dependencies for you. So instead of doing the normal npm install, we copy this command, we go to, uh, go back, we can do this all over again, it doesn't matter. Now it will install our configuration for ESLint and it will also install all the dependencies uh, that we use. Uh, and you can see that it installed the plugin dependency import, the plugin dependency uh, uh, JSTOC node, promise and standard. Because we are building kind of on the, the standard configuration, uh, the same as we have used before. Not to confuse you too much. However, we need to tell uh, ESLint to use this configuration. Uh, it's a simple uh, thing to add this one into the package JSON. Let's copy, copy that one. 
uh, whoop, uh, place it like that. And now we are telling ESLint to use LNU config. Uh, hopefully, if we go into app uh, and I try to do something that is not something that you are supposed to do in this configuration, uh, I thought it would actually work since we can have a look. Well, at don't you need to run ESLint then? Uh, we can run this link actually, but I thought I had the ex uh, the the packages installed well, in in Wishes. Well, well, you just says JavaScript. Yeah. Okay. Let's have a look at that soon. But we can run the command first. Uh, to 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 just manually run this command, we could write npx. Uh. What? Oh, can't see. <laughs> Maybe we should disappear instead. Of, yeah. yeah, that's easier. Uh, so uh, to run this command, we can do an mpx eslint dot. Uh, this will run eslint. Uh, it finds the errors, too many blank, li blank lines. We must use single quotes and things like that. So we get three errors. If you have three errors, this one is failed. Yeah. If you get warnings, fine. I mean, the warnings is OK, but please try to fix them as well, if, if you're able to. So instead of doing this mpx eslint all the time, we can go into the package JSON and you should do this, and we can add a script. First of all, um, we add a lint script. Uh, what we're supposed to do is mpx eslint dot. Okay. Yep. Uh, that is for the linting, and we need to add a comma as well. We also, when we are here, we should always create a start script uh, that is app.js. Uh, and what is app.js? Well, it's a node application, so we run it with node. Yeah. Save uh, and a comma and save and uh, everything seems fine. Let's try the commands. First, npm run lint. Works. Well, that doesn't look good, no. does it? Nope. We get a problem since since we got an error. This one is basically throwing an error, causing uh, npm to say something went horribly wrong. Mm -hmm. uh, please fix it. And but in this case, it was wrong by design. We wanted to to be wrong, so we can actually tell eslint by doing two pipes exit zero to always exit on a good note. To yeah. always exit successfully because if you if you exit by zero it's always good if you exit by one it's an error uh, or something higher than zero is an error basically so we do that we done an npm run lint again and now we only get the output well how can I fix this then well it says something about yeah. that right then we do a uh, then we add another script yeah maybe uh, we add one Script. Do you used to call it fix or lint well, fix? Lint. Like that? Like that. Ah, it's colon in, in scripts, of course. Lint fix, and then we do an mpx cs lint uh, dot fix, right? Yeah. And probably well, we'll exit we'll zero in that, that one as well. Yeah. Okay. I mean, you you will be you will need to do this for each and every exercise, but of course you when you have done it once you can copy mm. those scripts of and course. remove the test script. Yeah, maybe. Yeah, we don't need that one since we're not having any tests. We don't need it. And now I do an npm run uh, lint. Is it colon test or no? Yeah. No. Yeah. Uh, fix. Sorry. Yeah, it fixed. npm run lint. Oh, nothing wrong. And if we look in app.js, it has corrected the yeah. errors for yeah. us. So this is like the CLI, CLI version of, of fixing errors. Mm -hmm. However, I thought that if we look in plugins, I have the ESLint plugin installed. Uh, not hmm. sure why it didn't work. I got an error before. Maybe I clicked something that I weren't supposed to click. So let's see if I just do it like... Maybe if I just close that file and open it again, and then start to do something wrong. Well, it should say ESLint. Yeah. Now I get wrong errors. Strings must be single quoted. If I save, it will save it. Hmm? Yeah, okay. so that works for me now. 
maybe it looks different on Windows. Oh, it says ESLint down there. Well, it's, for it's me, it's, uh, but it depends. Maybe it depends how you run the the ESLint command. Uh, maybe. But because it says on my computer, ESLint server is running. Okay. So uh, because um, when it tells, oh. I think the the, 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 uh, the files will be uh, evaluated on the fly. I think. Okay. Yeah, but okay. Not only when you open a file, also yeah. I don't know. Oh, okay, well, works now. So, but you, I, we can recommend this ESLint Dirk Baumer plugin. It works yeah. really good. And what this does is, it's actually is looking in the package JSON. It looks at this ESLint config and it recognizes that oh, okay, it's the LNU config that we are mm -hmm. supposed to use. So it will follow those rules, and it's the same rules that we use in our production service testing your code. So that's why this is important mm. that we use the same versions of everything. Great, linting is set up. Uh, well, you, you just shown a part of the linting. Shall we take a look at the other part? Oh, or do I dare? Do I dare? Okay. I, I don't know. Uh, I'm. I need a function. I need a function that is called add that takes two numbers x and y. Uh, it will return x plus y. Oh, I did my first function. Yeah. And you got. Well, yes. let's let's <laughs> just remove them. Okay, shall we? Mm -hmm. I'm not sure how to save this file now, though, <laughs> <laughs> because that is oh, uh, 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 doesn't matter. It added mm -hmm. added this gave it away, but it added uh, the the js doc comments. So if I run an npm run lint now, whoa! I got serious problems. I got actually five errors. Mm -hmm. But I haven't written anything wrong. Well, we are missing a block description. Okay, mm -hmm. we have a we have a we have a block, but we don't have a description. So, adding two numbers. Okay, saving that one is will that fix it? Well, now I only got four errors: missing parameter x declaration and y declaration. So now I need to add those param uh, and oh, I don't remember. Is it like that? Yeah. And then x should be a number, mm -hmm. uh, like that, right? Yeah. And we, try we save those. that one. And we try okay. uh, param uh, x, right? Should be a number. Or is it the opposite way around? Mm -hmm. Oh, well, I got it. Y should be a number. Come on. Nope. No, <laughs> no, <laughs> how is it? It's like just a regular comment. Oh, I'm wow. too tired. Nope. Yeah. Yes. Like that, and the number, like that. It still complains up there, but we can run it. Uh, it misses a return declaration, missing the type of X. I wrote it in the wrong direction order right we 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 ha we have created or will create a quick guide to yeah. how to write uh, those uh, because i don't remember them in my head is it like that uh, x uh, like that right yeah wrong way around like that then we try it again then it says uh, missing return statement, the declaration returns. And use returns because the, there is an ILS uh, that's, that's named return. Okay. Mm, but I think you should use returns. And now this returns a number, so I save. Uh, add is defined but never used, of course. So I get a warning uh, error by that, uh, and we should do a console log add just to have something that is being used and uh, do, 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 do. now I only get three warnings. Yeah, and this is okay. You can get warnings, however, uh, you are supposed to write what those are as mm. well. 
what are they called in in uh, in when you uh, add to they are called the operands or operand. what, uh, what do you mean then i can do that maybe yeah yeah uh, Great sentences must end with periods. <laughs> it's really picky. <laughs> You'll get used to it. You'll write a tool that will do this. I, we're not sure if you will be driven crazy by this, but uh, <laughs> now you know what you're supposed to do anyway. And we will create like a, a short uh, guide for w what mm. to document yeah. and how in this course, because well, that will that, be that's needed. the lean thing. Yeah, part. Yeah, I think. Yeah, we need to mention anyhow. Yeah. Uh, okay, the rotten tomatoes. Uh, I want want to get back to this one. Follow the instructions in the getting started guide. It says the only thing that is not here basically is the linting. Yeah. So so you need to add a linting yourself. Otherwise, you can follow this. We have created like you should create a a, a directory called lib. Okay, let's do that. Uh, uh, <laughs> like that uh, and you should create files I will not do that right now however this step 8 because there are files here uh, in this repository we got files we got a movie.json and a movie.xml that you are supposed to use and to get those files of course you can kind of like create them you can open them you can copy and paste but a simpler way is to just use those commands that basically says copy the file from the, the content from github uh, what did i it's so confusing that it is control shift in the terminal and not in any other so uh, i'm in the, the root folder maybe you should show the file no, right. yeah and i do a control V, like that, copy, paste. Um, lib move, oh, I have, I were supposed to create a folder called movies as well. Try again. Uh, if we go into movies, we got a movie XML and we got that file copied. Mm -hmm. And then we do the same thing with the JSON file. Like that, and we get the JSON file as well. So it's yep. quite convenient. And now we can start in app.js, we can start working on the exercise. And of course, we have created our start script so we can do an MPN start um, if we like. Uh, important, just to, to, to say this once again. When you create uh, your applications in the course, make sure that MPN install will work. So basically what we could do now, if we like, is just to uh, uh, make a, uh, we can do that actually. I'll, I'll, I'll do that. See if we get any problems, but. I loot. I'm, I'm switching computers all the time. So, so I'm, I'm just, never learns the short terms for anything because it's different in all systems so git status important when when you make your initial commit make sure to do a git status first and make sure that those files are the ones that you're wanting the, the, the version control so that for instance node modules isn't here and it isn't so so that's good well, okay yeah no well, I think it's great yeah npn uh, add all uh, get commit uh, in initial commit oh well something ah well <laughs> <laughs> i think that 
my my mess up with the the mm, the, 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 so git, the git the uh, git destroyed a lot of things. So so don't mind. It. But you do a git commit, you do a git push <laughs> up to to GitLab, uh, and then you could try to to like clone that or or git, or just down, download a zip or whatever. Do an npm install and make sure that it still works when doing an npm mm. start because that is what we do. We do an npm install followed by an npm start. Yeah. Um, nice with the summer outside. I think so too. Yeah. <laughs> um, that's basically it. Hmm? Good luck with exercises. It's the same thing that is for the examinations. However, in the examinations, your package JSON should be in the root folder. Yeah. So that's the only thing that differs the exercises from the assignments. That on the assignments, um, package JSON should be in the root folder together with app.js. Yeah. Or, or at least npm start should work from the from the root folder. Mm -hmm. Okay. Thank you. Bye.